Hello everybody. So today what we're going to go over is how to add tabs to your WordPress website using jQuery UI. So in this video we're going to learn how to create tabs that look just like this one uh, using uh, just jQuery that we create and no plugins that uh, are necessary to be downloaded for this. So this is how it's going to look. So let me just pause the video now while I go into the background and remove all this code. So here it is. So I've gone into the background and I've removed all the code and now what we're left with is just a basic empty post. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go and add some HTML markup to our post. So let's go to a website called jQueryUI.com and click on demos. And then we want to scroll down and look for tabs. And this website is, uh, you get a demo here of what the tabs will look like. This is just a basic default one with no styling. Ours is going to have a little bit more styling than that. And they're even so good to provide us the source code. So you click on view source. And then what we do is inside the body is the source code. This is the HTML markup. So underneath the body, the top tag and the body tag is located the, the code that we want. So copy from this first div all the way down to here. Just copy that, okay? And then we're gonna go back to our WordPress website into our post and just pay, make sure you're in the text tab. If you use the visual tab, it's not gonna work out for you. Click on the text tab and paste that HTML markup in there. Okay, so we, we've done that. So let's update that. So let's go back to the website and see what we have so far. So we can see we have this random text here with these links and these links will serve to be each individual tab. And those links are here. So if you wanted to change them, you would just go in here and change this one or that one or what have you and you can have the, the code is located in here. So you could put whatever code you wanted in there or whatever text, I should say, whatever text you wanted in there, or whatever content, you could put that in there. But so all we have so far is the HTML markup. The next step is to add the jQuery tabs code. So we're gonna go into our text editor, okay? So here's our text editor. I'm using a Sublime Text. So we're going to the text editor. We go to uh, the folder WP Content, and within that folder, we'll see our Themes folder. So then you just go to the theme that you're using. I um, you happen to be using Magazine Pro at this moment and look for a folder in there that is called JS. You probably already have one because most themes have that, but if it, you don't have one, just create a folder called JS. So in this case, my theme happens to have one, so I'll just go ahead and open it. And within that uh, folder, we wanna create a file. So let's create a file, and we're gonna name that file tabs dot js so we have that tab here now but it's empty so we're going to put some code into it now the code is kind of available right in here that the demo that we looked at before they have this code here so let's just grab that just to show you uh, what that code looks like I'll put it here because it's easier to see you can see that this code starts with a dollar sign now, if you know anything about uh, p uh, programming in uh, WordPress, you know that you cannot use these dollar signs for JavaScript in, in uh, WordPress because WordPress is set to a non-conflict mode that is to prevent you know, the conflicting scripts from running at the same time and then crashing your site. So th the, the script cannot be used like this directly on WordPress. It could be used on other regular sites, non-WordPress sites, but on WordPress, this this way will not work as, as it is. So we want to modify that a little bit. So all we have to do is do it. I'll, I'll put them both here just for comparison, then I'll delete the other one. You can see that it's a little bit different. All we've basically done is taken this part and we've wrapped it in a function and we've begun the, we've wrapped it here so you can see the function and, we, and it begins with jQuery. So we can get rid of that one. And by doing it this way, it will not uh, conflict with other scripts. So we save that, okay? 
and don't worry about memorizing all this code just uh, try to get uh, an understanding of what we're doing here because on my website uh, wpbasics.org I'll have all this code and very detailed instructions so if you wanted to follow it there so that's the first step here the next thing we want to do is we want to unqueue the script because on, word, on normal websites, you can just add some code to the head of, of the source code. But here in WordPress, it's a little different. We, we wouldn't do it that way. We have to unqueue the script. So in order to do, to do that, we go to our functions PHP uh, folder or file, and we have to add a little bit of code there. So all we have to do is get the code, and put it right here. So basically what we're doing is we're creating, first of all, a function. And this function, you can call this whatever you like. I, I happen to call it my scripts tabs, but this name, you can call it whatever you want, uh, as long as this name matches here, because basically I'll just give you an overview how this is gonna work. We create basically a function telling it that if it's not an, if you're not on the admin screen to run this, this script, so the script we want to unqueue is the UI tabs, that's from jQuery. And then we also want to enqueue the, the script that we created in uh, the JS tabs. So that we do that here. Let me just make this bigger. So we're telling it here where that file that we created a little while is. That's basically all this is. Get style sheet directory, that tells it to go to the home, to the home directory. And then it points it to uh, the subfolders. That's basically what this is doing. Now, if we only had this part here, nothing would happen because we have the function, but we have to hook that function to something. So here is our function being hooked onto WP on Q scripts. And I hooked it onto this because I want my script to be uh, to run at the same time that all the other scripts from uh, uh, WordPress run. So that's how we did it here. This script that we created is being hooked on to this one. That's basically it. So let's save that for now. And let's go back to our website and have a look at what we have so far. As you can see, it hasn't really changed, but there should be some functionality now. So when you click it, you can see it switches. So we're almost there, but we just don't have any styling there yet. So now we have to add styling to it. So what you need to do for that is go back to that jQueryUI.com uh, page and then we click on themes. We don't have to code these themes by ourselves. You can just go through these ones. For example, let's look at this one. And you can see here if you like a black theme like that, if you wanted a different one, let's go back to the gallery. Let's say something like this. It's like that and you can edit the colors here if you want it so here you just go through these and edit whatever you want and then you can just click on download theme once you have it the way you like it. I mean I like this one the blue and green looks pretty nice so let's go and download that theme so then they'll be brought to this page with a whole bunch of different options you can take some of them out if you don't want but you know what for this purpose let's just leave everything there you can always just remove it afterwards you would click it, download it, and save it to your desktop. I've already saved mine, so I'm not gonna do it again, but you, you go ahead and save yours to the desktop. Once you have it on your desktop, uh, you'll get a folder like this one here, like this one. So what you need to do is you need to extract the contents. You would just click here and extract files. And mine, I've already done it, it's right here. So then you just open up this folder that you've extracted copy this one that's within it because this one contains all the files so we want to go one level up and copy this okay and then you need to go to the directory where your all your folders are uh, in this case because i'm doing it on a local site it's an ht docs and then you go to your wp uh, tutorials this one is so then we just go here and go into wp content and into themes and then into the theme that you're using and what I like to do is I like to keep um, all my uh, information organized so I'm gonna create a folder in there called CSS okay that's what I'm gonna do open that folder and paste all the stuff that we copied so there it is now that's pasted 
So let's go back to our text editor. You can see now that we have that there. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Right here. So we have that folder here and we have these files here. So it's there, but uh, in order to use them, we have to add a little bit of code. We have to basically tell WordPress, uh, here's my code, use this stuff. And uh, in order to do that, we're going to just add a little bit of code. So just paste this code in. This code is available on my website. Again, if you wanted to do it, I'll put a link to it in the description field. So basically, we're just un unqueuing the style sheet. We're registering this, a custom style, and then we're telling it, here's, and I'm going to call it jQuery custom style. You can name this whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. I just chose that name. And then we, we tell it that where that custom style is, and we're pointing it to our CSS folder, and then to our subfolder here, and then this is the actual file. Now we've registered it, and then underneath we have to red unqueue it, and that's as simple as putting in WP, WP unqueue style, and then uh, here, doing it like this. There we're calling our our uh, custom style that we called again. So as long as these two match, you can name them whatever you want. So let's go ahead and save that, see what we got so far. So there we have it. There are our working tabs. It's just that easy. Just a little bit of code, a little bit of time, and you can have this up and running in no time. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. Uh, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you need any, if you have any questions, just shoot me a comment. Thanks. Bye.